Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. And welcome to Dire Wolf, episode 50. Your arm is in the wall. Well, we're going to have to just move out of there then. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. So, hello. Hello. I am so happy to be back. Oh my gosh. This was, I am too. This was just terrible not being able to be in this world. It was. Speaking of this world, uh -huh. you know, this nonsense here yes. that we have, you know, gathered across the entire scope of this map being on, f like, what, four different places? Yes. You know, and bringing our stuff with us? Lots of drawers. I don't know. This is episode 50, and we don't have a system, which in any We have a storage system. See it? Okay. It's right here. It's all of these wonderful drawers that you have to look at every single one, each and every one, to find the piece of stone you want. There you go. That's exactly my point. You exactly hit the nail on the head there. So, uh, where, where was that silicon again? Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, by the way, that's down there. I remember. <laughs> See, it's how I just got, just got through pulling some out to, or looking to see how much we had. And that be, is the point. Generally, by now, we have some kind of, like, AE system. And we do not have that AE system. And we do not. Because, now, refined storage is in here as yes. well. But because we're doing, we're going to do refined storage completion of that in Sky Factory 3, we decided to do the AE system in the Dire Wolf 20 pack. Both exactly. are Both are in here. Which is really nice, because that gives you choices on all. So that's nice to have a choice in the pack. So I wanted to just get started on the AE system. Obviously, in order to make an AE system, you're going to need to, you know, go across the world and find the, uh, for instance, this charged circus quartz that I have in my hand, and regular circus quartz, because that is the main um, ingredient in the AE system. Right. But in order to get it, uh, there's quite a bit you need to do. So let's get started. Sounds first, good. First thing, you need to go across the world and find a bunch of moon craters. I don't know. And, uh, or craters that have those big black balls in them. Right. The sky stones. Exactly. The sky stone meteors. And then dig down into that sky stone which is very hard to do and time consuming and in the middle you'll find the sky stone chest and you'll find inside it possibly because it is hit and miss which i think it took us three of them to be able to get all four of them because sometimes you get two or three of them in that chest so you need a inscriber logic press you need an inscriber calculation press you need an inscriber silicon press, and you need an inscriber engineering press. You need all four of these in order to be able to do the AE system because you need these to make, uh, on my, let me pull this over here, for instance, printed logic circuit. Um, this is how you get your printed circuits. Uh, there are several different kinds. So let's let's make that, okay? To, to get that, you need the inscriber. And that, I believe, nope, there we go. It's on page one. If you pull up at, and I just said APP, and it pulled up the Applied Energistics. So we need the Inscriber. The Inscriber takes iron. It takes sticky pistons, which we should all know how to make a sticky piston, but let's just go over it. Um, it takes a slime ball and a piston, and a piston is just plain wood planks. Um, I believe it'll take any wood planks you need four pieces of cobblestone, two on either side and the edges. And then in the very center, you need iron. And then at the bottom center, you need redstone. I'm going to be using some of those myself. Yes, you are. Yours are, be well, no, it's not better used because we really need this applied energistic system. We do. So let's make that inscriber. Oh, wait, we can't because we need we need flux crystals right actually i do have two on on here i could make it so i'm going to go ahead and make it okay uh, but i want to get into that so the inscriber here we go we have the inscriber the inscriber i'm going to just for right this moment i'm going to set the inscriber down right here so we have the inscriber 
Now, how did I get the Fluix Crystal? Okay, well, let's come down here. And I hope that it can be seen, because I don't really want to pull this out. I pulled this out a minute ago. I'm, I've got two little Certus Court seeds I see them growing there. in here. It takes forever for them to grow. It does. Long time. So I'm gonna I'm going to put in to make the the fluids crystal. That has to be charged Certus Quartz crystal. So I'm throwing uh okay that just popped back into my inventory. I guess I'm not close enough. I'm going to throw these charged surface quartz in here, 15 redstone in here, and 15 nether quartz in here. That's going to make oh my goodness um double what I did. See, I threw in 15 and got back 31. That was a lot. It gives you two. It only takes a second or two, as you've seen. So that's really great. That doesn't take long at all. No, that didn't the take thing long at all. It does take a long time is what's in there right now and seeds. that is the Certus Quartz seed. In the in the JEI here I've got the Certus Quartz seed up here. Let's let's hit the R button for the recipe on that. The recipe on that is Certus Quartz dust and sand. Um so let's make some more of that because there's only one in there. So I'm going to make 15 more of these. Oops. I separated it for some reason. So I'm gonna make 15 more of these, which means I'm actually making 30 more, okay? So it used to be that you had to really watch these because they would despawn on you. And it absolutely now states on here, this won't despawn, thankfully, because it does take longer than five minutes. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna hover over this and I'm gonna go ahead and throw all 30 of these seeds in here. Now, in order for this to grow a little faster, if you make wrong page again here if you make i'm trying to find what i need to make a growth accelerator there we go it's on page one as well a crystal growth accelerator which is the reason why i made that that fluids crystal so you need iron four of them you also need emmy glass cable you also need the fluix block which is just four of the fluix crystals we're not going to use the pure fluix right now that's good. Or it's, that's more expensive. So I, I, I'm like going, why would I want to do that? No, thank you. So we are going to use four crystals and we get the one block, right? Okay, now if I'm going to go ahead and make two of these. The more you have, the faster it'll grow. So I'm going to make two of these. We also need quartz glass. How do you get quartz glass? Well, quartz glass is... Um, nether quartz or surface quartz, depending upon what you have the most of. I happen to have the the more of the um, surface quartz, and I'm going to use plain glass because that's the cheapest. Okay, and so to make this, you need two pieces of this. So if it gives you four, then I'm done uh, because I'm making two of these. So I'm just gonna make exactly what I need because to get Certus Quartz dust, by the way, you used to get this when you mined, which now you don't. The recipe for that is simply, well, good grief. Um, sag mill, no, that's not how I did it. I'm trying to find the way I did it. Well, good grief, it's gonna be the last one, isn't it? Okay, it's not showing the sag mill as in, oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. This is how I did it. Service quartz and sag mill will get your service quartz dust, a one-on-one, -on -one, so you don't get any extra anymore, which is really sad because there's no even extra by putting the flint and or the dark steel ball, which gives you extra. Nope, not so much. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't, you don't get that anymore. That's a shame. So moving on. We also need emmy glass cable. Now, how do you get emmy glass cable? Well, that's the other reason why we need the fluid crystals. We need two fluid crystals and we need quartz fiber. How do you get quartz fiber? Good grief, there's a lot. There is a lot. You need quite clear glass. And again, you either need to use nether quartz or you need to use surface quartz. Now, we've been to the nether a couple of times. But we haven't gotten a huge amount of surface quartz. Nether quartz. Nether quartz. Nope, we have not. 
So I'm going to uh, use the starter squirts because we have mined more of that. And I am wishing now that I hadn't bypassed a couple of pieces that I seen. And I just left it because I was so in search of diamonds. So let's go ahead and make that quite clear glass. Um, let me just pull the recipe up and that way it'll be easier because I can just shift click it. Okay, so quartz fiber. Um, we're going to use uh, regular glass and surface quartz dust and we'll make six of these. Now we have the quartz fiber so now we can make the emmy glass cable and we'll make right this moment I'm only going to make eight. We're going to need a lot more but right this moment I'm only going to make eight. So now for the, the crystal growth accelerators, we have the quartz glass, we have the iron, we've made the ME cable now, and obviously we already made the fluids block. So there we go, we have two crystal growth accelerators. Yay! Now with these, oh gee, can we just put the, plop these down with no power? Hmm. Let's look. Let's try it. This right here. Uh, oh wait, I'm gonna pick the seeds up because I don't. Okay, now let's put the seeds back. We have eight seeds. We have 38 seeds. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Here, look. This because the eight seeds, it's actually at five percent. Oh, cool. And the other ones are at zero percent, so they won't stack because they're at different percentages. So let me just pull that up, throw that back in, throw that back in. All right, so we can see that it's not doing anything because it's not powered. It's so, not working. So exactly. So now what do we need? We need an energy acceptor because because this being in the, the AE system, applied energistics, applied energistics doesn't play well with just putting like a capacitor or something on there. Um, it doesn't, it, yeah, there you go. See, uh, yeah, it's not working. Work. doesn't work. So how do you, how do you get the work you need to make the energy acceptor? This will accept the energy from another system. This will actually accept, I believe all types of energy. I don't know. So you can I have think several, so. Pardon me. I said, I think so. You can have several different so let's make that energy acceptor. Okay. Okay, now on the energy acceptor, we need, oh, four, and I only have two. Wait a minute, no, I don't. I have 12. Okay, there we go. I'm good. Uh, energy acceptor, we need the, the oh, quartz glass. I have, I have quite clear, so we need quartz glass. So let's make some more of the quartz glass. Okay, so uh, we'll make four. Whoa, no, oh, I already did it. Uh, I, I wanted to use regular glass. Oh, yeah. well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Don't do that. Don't, yes, don't do that. Use regular, because it's more expensive. You know, use the cheapest thing you can. Exactly. Okay, so Sand is pretty cheap. A regular Fluix crystal, uh, four iron, and then the quartz glass. There we go. Energy acceptor. Now, if we place this energy acceptor down here, this should actually now be able to connect and should then there we go now it by joint the capacitor is accepting or excuse me the energy acceptor is accepting energy from the capacitor and then you need to place your cables from your energy acceptor onto your crystals and give them the power that they need. Cool. So now they're working. So and they're now they're going. Now it works. Now, on this, the reason why this is set up in here is obviously I'm going to take this down and not use it after I make several of these. Now this is going to take a, a bit of uh, time, but it does speed it up. If you do all four of them all the way around, it speeds it up even that much more. No, no. But for the sake of this video, um, I just wanted to do this right here. And we'll go ahead and, 
you know, wait for this to to grow and cool. come out, and we'll we'll have our crystals. And then next episode, we'll we'll see what we do with all of this. The inscriber, though, I just wanted to do a, just a quick thing on the inscriber. The inscriber logic press. Place that in the top. Uh, place a piece of gold in there, and you will get your gold inscriber. Oh, cool! Your yes. excuse me, I call it the gold one. I don't, I, I'm the doing gold the colors, one. And, you know, it's actually the logic the circuit. Printed logic circuit. Um, and now, in order to get your printed logic circuit to be what you want, you need actually for all of these circuits, you need the silicon circuit. So that's usually the first one I do, and I usually do... Let me go ahead, Noel, for recording's sake, I'll only do one. I usually do uh, on the printed silicon, because you need the printed silicon on, on all of them. I usually do up like a stack uh, right away. So now you're going to take your silicon and put it on the bottom. You're going to take your printed logic, and you're going to take a piece of redstone. And now that is going to be the product that you actually need to be. There you go, the logic processor. Now, cool. Now you have your logic processor, and if we'll look at use here, so you, you need this for your for. Here's the big reason: it's the 1K ME storage component. Um, it also you need it for your, your crafting unit, and the crafting unit will show the the calculation processor ex, as well. And see again, you need that silicon. This is the diamond one, the printed calculation. Excuse me, not the diamond. The pure service quartz is, which is the reason why we're making those seeds over there to get the pure service quartz. So, but the cool. diamond, I let me show the diamond as, as well. That's the engineering processor. So the engineering press, excuse me, place the diamond in there, and you will get voila, your Printed engineering printed circuit. engineering circuit. And then again, you use your silicon, redstone, and this circuit to get your... Same with this, um, with the redstone. Because you can see that two of them, this does not have redstone around it. This does have redstone around it. So, but if I hit the printed engineering circuit, if I hit use on it, oh, gee, look, the only use for it is that it must go through this this little setup I just said. The printed silicon, the engineering circuit, the redstone, making it a real engineering processor. Cool. And I am going to off camera make up a bunch of all of these. All 64 of these silicons will go through here. Um, this gold, all of these diamonds, because we'll definitely Sounds need good. it. And then at least 16 of those over the pure service quartz. Sounds good. And I'm going to do all of that off camera because it is rather time consuming. Now you can set this up to do an automated process with, if you do it properly with hoppers, um, you can put hoppers on this and it will end up filling in and then just put all of your ingredients in there and it will fill in the proper things as long as you have a hopper in each component that you need because there are multiple slots here. There are three slots here so you need to make sure that you put your your hopper in the um, slots, right? Because the, uh, because the inscriber is is side specific on what is inserts. Yes. So, so look and see which one because you know you put your hopper here, um, and then put your hopper in the back for another one, and whichever inscriber you're using, all you have to do is pull out your inscriber and then place in whatever ingredients you need. And, uh, and that, and then have a pullout, and you have a complete um, automated system there. Um, there's also I'm not doing that because there is a way you can automate this with applied energistics, and that's what I'm going to be doing is the automated with applied energistics. That sounds good. So that'll do it. We have shown the very first stages of the applied energistics system. It is time consuming. It is material intensive very much so um but the AE system is fabulous i'm froggy lobby 
And I'm Phoenix Embedder. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Bye! Oh, look. We Bye. can just press the Y button. See you all later. Yes, we can. Oh, I love the remotes. They're so great. Yes, how many times have we said that? Almost every episode. I know, right? It's incredible. <laughs> we're, we're so easily impressed. We are. <laughs> See you all later. Uh, uh. <laughs>